Hey everyone, in the news this week, there's a continuing fallout from the scandal about the failing construction of schools in England and Wales. Most of these buildings were of course constructed a few decades ago when Bob the Builder was at the peak of his popularity, so I guess it's yet another sad instance of a previously popular BBC children's entertainer being brought into disrepute. There's also been the G20 conference, which of course was as usual a ridiculous and pointless talking shop, although I guess it was nice for Emmanuel Macron to be treated in a respectable way as compared to the Rugby World Cup where he was recently booed by a stadium of French voters. I'd say the G20, but China and Russia decided to stay at home, sort of like when Robert Duval didn't show up for The Godfather Part 3. Maybe Vladimir and Xi Jinping are too busy trying to sneak a horse's head into Joe Biden's bedroom or assassinate their political rivals. The main outcome of the conference seemed to have been a meaningless declaration about, quote, human suffering in Ukraine, which didn't actually criticise Russia for starting the war or the West continued to send weapons into it. The one interesting thing to come out of it all though was the Indian Prime Minister Modi using the name Bharat rather than India on a plaque, raising two important questions. Number one, whether they plan to copy Burma and rename the country at some point. And two, whether Sasha Baron Cohen has a Borat film in the works and whether India really wants a future where the two names get repeatedly mixed up with either hilarious or disturbingly racist results. And finally, talking about comedy characters, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un marked the 75th anniversary of the country's founding with a huge parade. There's some nice photographs online depicting what looks like either a huge fireworks display or possibly just a missile exploding on the launch pad. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.